good morning children uh, today we will have a new lesson the title of the lesson is discovering tut the saga continues okay what do you mean by saga a story about the brave or an exciting action so in short we can say it's a story the story continues discovering tut tut is the short form of the pharaoh that is an egyptian king named tutankhamun the full name of his uh, this tut is tutankhamun right and shortly called as tut so uh, uh, the story is uh, describing the historic as archaeological event that took place on january 5th 2005 on this day the remains of king tut were brought out of the burial chamber at 6 pm for about 3 hours and a ct scan was carried out actually uh, this uh, tutankhamun who died at an early stage most probably in his uh, teenage this is and his death is a mystery that is why uh, his uh, body the mummy we call egyptians they call the mummy was excavated for a ct scan so that is what the story about so before we go in detail with the story let us try to throw light upon the author who wrote it a r williams okay it is taken from uh, internet and uh, courtesy goes to internet okay a r williams developed a love for reading at a very young age and in the fourth grade when an assignment to write their own works of fiction was given it occurred to him that he too could craft tales for others to enjoy so that is what the detail we get from the internet about to uh, air williams right so now we have to focus more on this uh, text that is written by him right yes discovering tut the saga continues by a r williams notice this expressions in the text uh, uh, infer means uh, find out their meanings from the context forensic reconstructions scattered across casket grey re resurrection funerary treasures circumvented computed tomography airy detail so we will uh, read the text and i uh, will find out uh, the meaning okay so this is the image of uh, the boy king what we call in uh, egypt pharaoh the pharaoh who died at an early age that remained a mystery for uh, people and it has become a history of archaeological event right uh, shall we begin yeah he was just a teenager and this is why uh, i have given you a reference already and it was uh, uh, sent through in a google google classroom with some image of uh, the pharaoh the tutankhamun and uh, his uh, funerary treasures everything the picture form is there now you just can visualize those things okay uh, he was just a teenager when he died the last heir of a powerful successor for her means successor the successor of a powerful family that had ruled egypt and its empire for centuries he was laid to rest laden with gold and covered with gold gold and eventually forgotten so after his death it is uh, a part of uh, the custom that the rich king would be uh covered with uh, gold okay that you can see in the picture that is already uh, shared among you uh, since the discovery of his uh, tomb what is tomb 
the place where dead body is buried is called tomb the tomb be silent okay the tomb uh, in 1922 the modern world has speculated about what happened to him what is speculated guessed or assumed okay guessed about what happened to him with murder being the most extreme possibility so when a boy king dies uh, generally there would be a doubt whether it could be a murder murder being the most extreme possibility now uh, leaving his tomb uh, over the first time in almo uh, almost 80 years that was undergone a CT scan okay uh, it was taken for a CT scan that offers a new clues about his life and death and uh, provides precise data for an accurate forensic reconstruction what do you mean by forensic reconstruction scientific reconstruction of the boy's pharaoh how do you pronounce it pharaoh a king of uh, ancient egypt is called pharaoh who is a pharaoh a king of an ancient egypt is called pharaoh it's okay shall we continue uh, an angry wind stirred up ghostly dust devils as King Tut was taken from his resting place in the ancient Egyptian cemetery known as the Valley of the King. Dark bellied clouds had scudded across the desert sky all day and now were wailing the stars in casket grey. It was 6 p.m. on 5th January 2005. The world's most famous mummy glided head first into a CT scanner brought here to probe the lingering medical mysteries of uh, this little un understood young ruler who died more than 3300 years ago. Okay, how many years before he died? 3300 years he died. So, when his uh, body was taken out from the tomb, what happened, you know, there was a ghostly dust devils. You can see in the film and all you may have seen. Even the movie is available. You just uh, browse in the internet and you will get the movie. Or else I will give you the link. Okay. An angry wind stirred up when it was taken. So, uh, like supernatural elements taking place. What you call the ghostly effect. Uh, the king Tatu was taken from his resting place. Where was he given to rest? The valley of the king. What's the name is called? The cemetery. Cemetery means cemetery, cemetery means the place where dead bodies are uh, kept. The cemetery known as the valley of the king. Dark bellied clouds. Clouds were all dark in color. Had scudded across. Moved across quickly. Scudded means moved across quickly scudded across the desert sky all day and now were wailing covering the stars in casket casket means a box especially the box that carries the dead body the box in which a dead body is carried or buried is called coffin i mean the casket gray uh, it was 6 pm what's the time 6 pm date 5th january year 2005 the world's most famous mummy. It's a very famous mummy because he was the last heir of that big dynasty or big kingdom, right? So that way, very famous mummy. Mummy, you know, the dead body uh, will be embalmed and would be kept year, year after year. Uh, it will remain there. You can see. Okay. That is why, uh, what do you call? Uh, the importance is there. All afternoon, the unusual line of tourists from around the world had descended into the crammed rock cut tomb uh, some 26 feet underground to pay their respects so many tourists gathered round the tomb what's the purpose of uh, gathering round the crammed means uh, very narrow okay congested or you can say unpleasant and congested okay write down unpleasant and congested crammed rock cut okay that is the tomb 
where the body was uh, lying for rest and people came to pay their respect. They gazed, they looked at the murals on the walls of the burial chamber. Murals, you know, painting. The wall, pa wall picture or painting is called murals on the walls of the burial chamber and peered at that gilded place covered with gold. Gilded here means covered with gold. The most striking feature of his mummy shaped outer coffin lid. So that in the lid itself there are uh, murals which are uh, done on the gold surface. Some visitors uh, read from the guidebooks in, the, in a whisper. Some uh, visitors were carrying a guidebook. So they were reading in a whisper, in a low voice. Uh, others stood silently, perhaps pondering Tut's uh, untimely death in his late teens. So some were thinking about, pondering means thinking, deep thinking about uh, the untimely death of that uh, uh, king at his teens. Uh, or wondering uh, with a shiver if the Pharaoh's curse. And some are wondering whether the curse of the Pharaoh would affect them. Death or misfortune falling upon those who disturbed him was really true. So some of them believed that those who are uh, disturbing even after death uh, will get some disturbance in their life. So it may be true. That's why uh, the sudden angry wind happened. Sudden wind and the dust devil happened. Everything happened. The mummy is in a very bad condition because of what Carter did in the 1920s. Carter is an archaeologist, you know. So in the year 1920, he made a study by cutting it. Said Sahi Awas, who is Sahi Hawas, the Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antics. As he leaned over the body of for a long first look, Carter Howard Carter, that is the full name of Carter, Howard Carter, that is uh, was the British archaeologist. Who is Howard Carter? British archaeologist who in the year 1922 discovered Tut's tomb after years of futile searching. He was the one who discovered. What is discover? What is the difference between discover and invent? Invent means finding out something that is not there, that is not existing in the world. Whereas discover means finding out something that is existing. For example, the tomb was existing and who discovered it? Howard Carter in the year uh, 1920. Okay. Uh, it's content though hastily ransacked, searched through and rob. Write down. All of you write down. Ransack means search through and rob. Robbing means to steal. So people uh, ransacked its antiquity, means people are very fond of uh, uh, stealing the antique things, were surprisingly complete. They remain the richest, but in this case of uh, the mummy of uh, uh, Tutankhamun, no robbing has taken place. They remain the richest uh, royal collection ever found and have become part of the Pharaoh's legend story, stunning artifacts, very interesting, surprising uh, artifacts in gold. You can see their internal brilliance meant to guarantee resurrection. What do you mean by resurrection? Coming to life again. So uh, they believe in uh, after death life. Okay, uh, it is even in Hindu mythology also we believe in uh, afterlife. Okay. Christians there say resurrection caused a sensation at the time of the discovery and still get the most attention but that was also buried with the everyday thing he had uh, he would want he would want in the afterlife so what would be the thing that he would want in the afterlife board games because he's a teenager would be interested in playing with game I mean games a bronze razor for shaving purpose razor linen underwear okay and uh, case of food and wine these are all the things provided to uh, the king a teenage king we can say teenage king so this part is very important for his children what are the funeral treasury that we could find with the tomb you can write down broad games bronze racer linen under games and the garments Okay, undergarments, you know, mm. uh, cases of food and wine. 
after months of carefully recording the pharaoh's funerary treasures that is what funerary treasures okay carter began that is why uh, when you read a text the answer will be either above the given line for example what are the funerary treasures so children will be searching below this okay sometime above that so it will be there either above or below okay carter began investigating his uh, three nested coffins there are three nested coffins etc okay opening the first he found a shroud adorned with garlands of willows and olive leaves wild celery lotus petals and corn flowers these are the flowers uh, uh, bury i mean kept in the first chamber and faded evidence of burial in the march or april because these flowers are found in the month months of march and april so it is it is guessed that he died in the either in the month of march or april when he finally reached the mummy though he ran into trouble the burial resins had hardened cementing tat to the bottom of his solid gold coffin no amount of legitimate force could move them carter wrote later what was to be done so actually the dead body was pasted as a ritual they will use resins what is resin the gum or a thick substance uh, uh, coming from the trees from trees okay resin uh, if you cut a tree the resin comes out you know you may have seen you may in your childhood you might have collected it as a gum okay like that that gum is used to Uh, cement the body means to cementing you know pasting for example cementing the body with the bottom of the coffin and now uh, it is not coming out the body cannot be taken out of the coffin now no amount of legitimate force could move them out carter wrote in his uh, diary or what was to be done so they thought what to be done with that or how to take this out so uh, what did they do they kept the body to the sunlight Uh, the sun can beat down like a hammer this part of egypt egypt it, is, it will be sunlight will be high so they thought of uh, melting the resin and carter tried to use it to loosen the resin for several hours several hours he kept it for uh, yes uh, uh, this one uh, for uh, melting and he set the mummy outside in the blazing sunshine that heated it to 149 degrees fahrenheit nothing budged budged means moved nothing moved uh, he reported with the scientific detachment that the unconsolidated material had to be chiseled away so he finally thought of cutting and taking chisel you know chisel you may have seen chisel it's a tool used by carpenter okay chisel sharp edge in this side this side is sharp so yeah chisel with the chiseled away from the beneath the limbs and the trunks okay beneath the limbs and trunk limbs what is limbs hands legs trunk means uh, without the hands and legs which part that part is called trunk uh, limbs and trunks before it was possible to raise the king's remains so this is so this is the way they took the dead body or the mummy out of that coffin by cutting so children we will we'll stop here for the day uh let us uh, make a quick review of uh, what we have discussed for the day so today we started learning a new lesson and the title of the lesson is, is already declared that is discovering that the saga continues and it is all about a teenage uh, pharaoh who died at an early age i mean in his teenage and that became a, a mystery okay so after uh, 3300 years uh, that uh, mummy was taken out for a ct scan on 5th january 2005 at 6 pm okay uh, that time there was a heavy wind and ghostly dust okay so and uh, by the time uh, this uh, mummy was taken out there were thousands of uh, i mean tourists gathered uh, to see uh, Uh, his body and to pay respect and some of them were uh, whispering about uh, 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 reading the guide books in a whisper reading and some of them were so uh, pondering about the untimely death of that uh, teenage king and some of them were wondering the uh, about uh, the curse of that pharaoh okay 
and uh, the reference uh, the mention of uh, sahi hawas that is the secretary general of egypt's supreme council of antiquities okay and uh, carter howard carter who made a uh, discovery of that uh, tomb in the year 1920s okay and uh, 1922s oh, sorry 1922 and finally they could find that uh, uh, funerary treasures kept along with the uh, mummy like uh, broad games because he was a teenager a bronze racer and uh, there are three uh, nested coffins means there are three chambers in that coffin and in one of the uh, nests what is found many flowers which were uh, bloomed in the month of uh, march or april and finally uh, carter wanted to uh, take the mummy out of the coffin but it was not coming out because of the heavy uh, re re what they call resins the paste the gum from the tree okay uh, it was closely cemented with the coffin and finally they decided to chisel away cut it out and to make a study about it dear children read well and uh, don't uh, fail to read it loudly as well as silently and uh, uh, word meanings are already dictated to you write down in your notebook and also uh, find, uh, try to find out the question and the answers okay already uh, ncert link is given to you thank you children thank you for listening to what i just lectured and uh, we will meet again tomorrow till then bye